Hey, hey, welcome to today's episode of Conversations with me, Teacher Tiffany. In today's episode, I speak with my student, Alex, and I thoroughly enjoyed our conversation. And I know that you're going to enjoy it too. So let's jump right in. This episode of Conversations with Teacher Tiffany is being sponsored by the Speak English with Tiffany Academy, the number one online English academy for intermediate and advanced English learners. All right, it's so good to see you. How are you? Likewise, Tiffany. I'm all right. I've I've been doing good. What about yourself? I've been doing good. I, I caught a bit of a cold, so my voice may sound a little bit different, but I feel okay. I'm getting better. Um, yeah, better. But, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Especially this time of the year, right? Exactly. Exactly. How was that your was Christmas? It? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's my question, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> my Christmas was all right. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Good. The whole happy. holiday season is such a, such a magical time, you know? Yeah. I still feel like I, I'm a child and, you know, I'm excited. Every every single year it comes. It's just great to have this time, you know. Good. I also enjoy the holidays. I love spending time with my family, and right. I have two little nieces, so they make Christmas even more fun. They get so excited about opening gifts. So yeah, it's great. I, I'm a bit jealous because my family is in Russia. Yeah, oh. and I haven't seen it for four years. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So since we moved to the United States, uh, mm -hmm. we're still here and um, we're still trying to solve the visa, the visa status and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's still fun, you know, because we have friends here in Los Angeles. So it's still an option, you know, to be happy and excited. That's very true. Yeah. Good. Well, Alex, I want to go back and start with the first uh, question because you sure. and I have spoken via email and I feel yes, like we, we did. just keep going. But for students that are going to watch this right. one-on-one -on -one conversation later, can you kind of introduce yourself, Alex? You mentioned you're from Russia, but tell yes, us a little bit about yourself. I am. All right. Uh, I'm Alex. Um, I moved to the United States um, four years ago, as I said earlier, and uh we moved with my wife. So my wife and I, we're musicians and we have a band and the band is called Chase the Comet. We play wow. kind of alternative rock, but it's kind of, it's a mixture of genres basically. Nice. And uh, yeah, we've been just, you know, following our dream because uh, we wanted to see if it can work out here in America, our music careers. So that's why we moved. And since then, I've been uh, learning English pretty hard because um, that was the goal. Yeah. I wanted to feel confident while I'm having conversations. And uh, this, is, this is how and this is why I found you on YouTube, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah I've been watching lots of English channels and lots of uh, English videos. Uh -huh. I'm trying to do it constantly every day. Uh -huh. And uh, then your video just popped up and I was like, wow. okay, let's give it a watch. And yeah. I was so like, I liked it a lot. The vibe, oh. the, the way you learn. And um, I just, you hooked me up. That's, ah. <laughs> that's like what I can say. Yeah. I'm and so here we are. Here that. we are. Here we are talking, yeah. talking. Well, I'm so glad that you, you liked the lesson and I'm so glad that you decided to join the Academy. I'm, I really love being an English teacher. Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, I may cough a few times. No Mr. worries, Tiffany, no worries. Um, I really love teaching English, and I'm always excited when I get an opportunity to meet my students. You know, even though it's via video call, I'm really so you happy. Can, you can feel the why. And I know yeah. you've, been, you've been hearing this a lot, that you're a great teacher and uh -huh. everyone likes you, but still, that's true. That's true. Thank you. I really... Yeah, we're not going to flatter you. It's just the way it is. You know, it's just... Pure facts. Pure facts. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Alex. I really appreciate that. And also, I know what it means and what it is when you uh, kind of teach um, any subject because I've been teaching guitar for mm. almost four or five years back in Russia. Oh, so wow. So I know what it is to, you know, to talk to students, to see their progress or not to see their progress. You know, it's tough, but if you have passion, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna succeed anyway. Yeah, you know and it's this is funny. What you have. 
thank you. You know, it's funny, but right before I started the YouTube channel about two, two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. um, there was another YouTuber that I followed and he was giving advice about starting a channel. He said, mm -hmm. whatever you do, you have to be passionate about it because it's right. going to be a lot of work. And right. that's been so true throughout my time running the English channel. I mean, now it's, you know, doing well and I'm able to meet students and we have the academy, but there was... There were quite a few months where it was just hard work, early morning, right, late right, nights, right. and you know. And also, I know you're a great planner, so it's not just you know random and chaotic. You just plan everything, right? That's just, yeah. That makes the difference too, because when you have strategy, it's mm -hmm. easier to move on. And also, I wanted to ask you uh, sure. how much time? How much time did it take to build your YouTube channel like properly to have like a decent amount of views and uh, subscribers as well? So I started my channel, I think it's been two and a half years and mm -hmm. it's, there were periodic jumps. Uh, I would right. say to get my first 100 subscribers, it took about maybe two or three months. Mm -hmm. And then the next quote unquote milestone was a thousand subscribers. And that took right. another maybe two to three months. When mm -hmm. I hit that 1000 subscriber point, Mm -hmm. um, I had a few videos that at that time went viral. At that time, mm -hmm. viral was they get like mi million views. Oh, ten. Okay. At that time, right now, okay. viral okay. means like yeah. I get a million views, right? But at right. that time, I was excited when I got ten thousand. Yes, for sure. I can so imagine. It was a. It was kind of a process, but one thing I would tell, I don't know if you and your wife are ever interested in starting a YouTube channel. We have them. We have them. This is why I'm asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we this have is a few. I'll tell you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex, the main thing is follow your idea and your passion and listen to your students. So what mm -hmm. happened is those students that were viewing my videos, they were telling me what they liked and what right. they wanted more of. Right. Mm -hmm. And as long as I paid attention to what they needed and I kind of adapted like, okay, well, let's say for example, there was a time I wanted to teach vocabulary. I, right. I don't know how, how long you've been following me, but I started off with a visual vocabulary series Right, mm -hmm. images, and mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, but the I realized students, they wanted they wanted something different, right? Exactly. They mm -hmm. wanted they had teacher. We want step by step, and so when I mm -hmm. switched, mm -hmm. the views skyrocketed. Right. So I think the key is listen. You have to, yeah, you have to listen to your audience for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's such a good advice. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me what's what's your channel? I mean, students watching, they can go watch your videos too. Well, that's funny because we have a few channels. The first channel is uh, the channel of our band. It's called Chase the Comet. So we have there uh, like our music videos, official video clips, and all that stuff. You know that bands have. Chase My, the Comet. I want to show it to the Chase. Chase the Comet. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I want I want to promote my students too. I want you. Thank to, you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Hold I appreciate on one second. It. I'm gonna open it up on my computer right now. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna share my screen so you guys can see exactly what me and Alex are talking about. Okay. All right, Alex. Is this it? The first one. This yeah. Is mm -hmm. okay. This is our band. We've just we've just dropped a new record like uh, a few weeks ago. It's called Out of the Matrix. Okay, um, you're doing good. You have 1.3 thousand subscribers. Well, but we we got stuck a little bit. So yeah, I mean, you know, there's a little bit different. But um, with music channels, with music bands, you have to do lots of like covers. So you see, True. Uh, the the singer of our band Nika, she made a mm -hmm. like a cover for Frozen Two. Oh but yeah. Still, you no, know, the views uh -huh. are not there. I don't know why because maybe there's too many covers out there. So uh, you have to kind of mix your original stuff with covers because covers, they bring you followers, they bring you views. Very true. But it's not all the time like that's we want to do, like, you know, on a regular basis. Because, I, yeah, 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 I understand. We want, we want to be focused more on our original stuff, but at the same time, we have to combine it with covers. But Can anyway, you? it's it's been fun. Anyway. Have you ever heard of Pompalusa? 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 No, okay. I haven't. What's that? Since we're, since we're talking about it, I'm going to show you their uh, their YouTube channel. Mm. Um, because looking at your YouTube channel and also what you are trying to do, I, I think... Have a note. Mm -hmm. Pompalusa. Hold on. Pompalusa. Um, here we go. Mm -hmm. Pompalusa. One second. They're also a band. Um mm -hmm. 
they're really good, but it seems again like they're doing what you want to do. They make their own music, but they also do covers. But I think they'd right. be a great channel for you to follow to get mm-hmm. ideas and to see how did they grow? Okay. What are they doing? Why are they getting so many? Like eleven? That was ten years ago. They have a million views, but let's see uh, uploads. Like one week ago, yeah, four hundred forty six thousand. That's a decent amount of views. Yeah, yeah, great. but. Their their style seems like something maybe you and your wife or your band would kind of you know like to mimic or copy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah but that's I a like great it. device. Yeah. Thank you. And also, my second channel um, isn't this second channel isn't Russian, and this is where I help my viewers and subscribers to stop smoking weed. Oh, Can good. You because yeah, I've been. Well, I've been through some difficult stages in my life and uh-huh. then I quit and I'm completely sober and I've been sober for a long time. Congratulations. And this is, thank you. Yeah. And this is, yeah, I felt this necess- necessity to share my experience with some other people. And we kind of, we have created a little community where we help each other and um, where we support each other, you know where we're trying to reveal all the negative factors that nobody's going to tell you about, you know? That's really good. Well, do you mind telling me that? I know it's in Russian, but I do have some Russian students in the academy. And again, Mm -hmm. they may be able to see your channel. Well, my channel is just called uh, Alexander Mishustov, my first name and my second name. Let's spell it together. Alexander is just a regular way Uh of typing. And the last name? How do you? And the last name is M-I-S-H-U-S-T-O-V. It's T-O-V. All right, yeah. let me show it to you just to make sure the spelling is correct. Is that right? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's okay. me. Okay. And again, students, as you're watching this video, remember, Here I am. you guys can support <laughs> each other. So you guys can yeah. support him and go check out his channel. This I'm is just, great. I'm just telling how cool it is to live your sober life, to be happy every single day of your life, you know, to achieve some goals. No, I'm That's just, so I'm just, sometimes I'm goofing around. Sometimes I, I do little rap videos, you know, I'm just, That's good. I, just, I, just, I just, I just feel so much energy that I cannot hold it like inside anymore. I just want to share it. And uh, I'm just That's feeling good. happy. This is, this is the way you feel, I guess. Right. So when you feel happy, yeah. your life is so meaningful and you want to just share it with everyone. Very true. Wow, excellent. Thank you. This is a great introduction. <laughs> Good. It took, it took us some time, but yeah. No We're moving worries. on. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So can you tell us the next question I have for you is when did you start studying English again? Because it seems like you're very, very comfortable uh, with our conversation. You're not shy at all. When did you start studying English and why did you choose English? Mm-hmm. I've started uh, learning English back in Russia when I was like 10 years old, I guess. It was my fifth grade. But uh, I guess I've started uh, uh, teaching it a little, uh, teaching, sorry, learning it a bit earlier with my mom. We would just pick up a vocabulary and she would just teach me like cat, dog, you know, table, like simple words when I was a little bit um, like younger. But yeah, the, f- the fifth grade, I guess. But again, the system we, um, um, the system, this, the teachers uh, teach us in Russia, it's kind of pretty much everywhere. You need to practice it every single day. You need to have yeah. like real conversations. You can learn vocabulary, you can learn grammar, but if you're not using this, it becomes like passive. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just, it's like every skill you you might have the skill, but if you're not using it, it's just it's just fading away. So, Very true. Yeah, uh, it took me it took me some time to get to the level where I'm comfortable with my skills, mm-hmm. but still there's a long way to go because okay. I want to improve it and I want to be better. Good, yeah. good. So then, what is currently the hardest thing about studying English for you? Not having enough conversations, mm. even though I live in Los Angeles, even though I have options, you know, sometimes, well, again, my wife and I, we're Russians and mm. obviously we speak in Russian and yeah. uh, sometimes just, it's, it's funny, we live in a Mexican neighborhood, so <laughs> no one pretty much speaks English here. Ah, and, uh, got you. you know, so we have to go out there, like we have to go to the office of our um, company where we work for to have this 
practice, you know, to have these conversations. But sometimes we work from home, and I just keep, we just keep speaking Russian. And if it like goes on for like a few days, I feel like I'm missing it. I feel like I'm losing yeah. it. Even yeah. like my 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 tongue, uh, my tongue um, flexibility. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Your tongue has to be like has to be moving the, the the proper way all the time yeah so otherwise you're losing this so yeah not having enough conversations it's a it's it's a problem it's an issue for me i'd say mm. That's a good this point. is why i've this is why i've joined the academy this is why i'm trying to you know yeah do as much as i can good 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 have you um when did you join the academy? How long has it been for you? Uh, it was like ha ha happy Thanksgiving deal or something. And oh I yeah, just, the Thanksgiving. I'm just say that's that's the high time. <laughs> Good. This is, this is when I joined it. Well, you joined just in time because I don't yeah. know if you got my other email. January first, the price is going to increase, but you don't have to worry. This is, no, price. this is fair. This is fair, Tiffany. The the service you provide for your students, it has to be like. Well, you know that as well. But yeah, it's but as long as you're in, you're fine. Like you're going to remain at ten dollars. All right, all right. <laughs> we've covered that. Covered yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> just for new students, yeah. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you. So, currently in the academy, what have you enjoyed so far? Like. Again, every student in the academy is at different levels. Mm -hmm. All of you are intermediate and advanced, yeah. but are different levels. So how has it helped you so far? Well, um, I've started watching. My first step was I've started watching the interviews with mm -hmm. some other students. And this is where I've noticed and this is where I found that uh, no one has to be afraid of their speaking abilities or speaking mm -hmm. skills because we still can understand each other. And uh, exactly. what I think is like the perfection. Mm. Um, is that the correct word perfection when you're trying to do everything yep. the best way you, have, like, right. you ever can? I guess this is, this is the most like, the, this is the worst uh, thing you can have. Mm. This perfection when you just, it doesn't allow you to go to the next step. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you're being too be afraid. Yeah, yeah, you want to be perfect, and you're being too afraid to even start talking. Because I remember my feeling when we just moved to the United States, everyone was speaking so fast and using so much like slang and stuff, and I felt like, oh, maybe it's not the right time to start speaking. Mm. Maybe it's it's not the right time to say something. I just I, I'll just be silent. You know, mm -hmm. this this the more silent you are, the more smarter you are you are this is what i thought but it's not the way you, you will never learn anything if you just you know you have to get out of the comfort zone and i like how this how the students with different skills on the different mm -hmm. levels mm -hmm. they do it anyway they do it anyway yeah. they explain they express themselves you understand them the connection goes on yes, exactly it's 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 brilliant because so many times we just we are afraid to move on just because we are afraid to make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Well, logically, logically it makes no sense because you make mistakes, you become, you become a better doing of, you know, whatever, better speaker, better guitar player, exactly. better actor and stuff. You just learn from your mistakes. But if you don't, if you don't make them, you don't learn. Exactly. That's good. Good. I'm glad you said that. I, I've been um, talking to another student in the academy because, uh, again, I get a lot of emails um, right. every week and I, I respond to every email. And students have said, teacher, you have so many. I was like, yeah, Tiffany, but I love them. I don't know how you find, <laughs> find time for this. It's crazy. <laughs> The thing is, I really do love my students, Alex. Like, I really enjoy you guys a lot. So, are you sure? Are you sure you have twenty four hours in, in one day? <laughs> it seems like you have forty eight or something. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I mean, I I think because I'm so organized and I have certain periods of times for certain things, that's really helpful. It helps me a lot. Um, but I've also been a student. Like, I speak Korean, yeah, and I, I know, know how it feels to be yeah. a with your teacher. So I know. Yes, it may take me a, an extra hour every day to check every single email, but I know how special a student will feel if I respond to them, even if it's very so short. True. This so, is so true. Yeah. I think it's very important for me to continue, you know, responding to emails, and I like it. I enjoy, you know. It brings it, you know. it brings the meaning to your to what you do to your job or to, or to your passion. It's yeah. 
Yeah. That's how it has to be, you know, not everyone does that. So yeah. please, respect and my I appreciation appreciate that. to you. Today's sponsor is the Speak English with Tiffany Academy. This is the number one online English academy for intermediate and advanced English learners. The academy focuses on helping English learners take their English to the next level and change their lives. It is a platform where you will find all the resources that you need to finally master English and achieve your biggest goals. The Academy's monthly membership is divided into five specific sections. Section one deals with speaking and fluency. Section two deals with real English conversations. Section three deals with lesson plans, journals, and advice. Section four deals with vocabulary, expressions, idioms, and phrasal verbs. And section five talks about American culture. As a member, you can watch the courses, read the eBooks, download the lesson plans, watch the video conversations, and watch the lessons on American culture as much as you want, anytime, anywhere, and on any internet connected screen. You can enjoy a constantly updated library of English courses and other amazing English resources. It's a ton of power English lessons waiting for you. So click the link in the description and enroll today. Hopefully you can join the, the VIP group, which starts in January. Um, because like you were saying before, needing the practice time. And again, yeah. that's one thing that students keep telling me, needing practice time. So I'm mm -hmm. working on a project for VIP students where you guys will have a partner. And specifically from another country. So, like, maybe your partner will be from Brazil. Well, you're in Bra I see your Brazil shirt. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to support all the Brazilian students you have. I know, so I know that you have them. Yeah, you have them a lot. So Yeah, there are a lot of Brazilian students. Yeah. But, like, putting you guys together and letting you talk. Um, and that will also help you become more comfortable and just talking and learning about each other's country. So, I have a lot of ideas, you know. Good, good. good. I'm excited. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. keep us updated. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's your, do you have a favorite English book? Um, well, I listen to lots of, like, recently I've been listening to lots of audiobooks. Uh, this um, app called Audible. Yes, Audible is yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 just, I just adore it. It allows you, when you just uh, register, when you just get this app, it allows you to download, like, three to five audiobooks for free and yep. then you just keep uh, the subscription on going on it's like fifteen dollars a month or something mm -hmm. but again there's so many uh, good books and uh, recently i've been listening to yeah that's the one that's just the showing one. for students listening this is what he's talking about yeah it's yeah. a great website and also mm -hmm. i watched one of your video of your students and one guy told that uh, he really likes uh, the power of now I like yeah. I like yeah I really love this kind of you know motivational books where you just can have some inspiration from and yeah this is what I'm listening right now the power of now good my next book I've already downloaded my next book is called this is marketing and thanks to you. Yes, great book. I have yeah. it right here on my desk. Good. Yeah. So I have I have something in plans. And yeah, also my previous one was talking to strangers. It's a it's a it's an interesting book. It's not what I expected it would be, but mm -hmm. still I, I didn't um I, I don't regret I, I read it. I listened to it. Um, talking to strangers, okay. Talking to strangers. It's like well shortly it's um it's a book about how different we are and how mm. our um, behavior sometimes cannot be predicted uh, mm. that well as we think we can predict it. So it's kind of complicated to talk about it, but if you listen to it, you get an idea. Good. Okay, I want to show that one as well. Again, he said this one right here, right? Talking to strangers? Yeah, talking to strangers. Yep. Mm. Good. Okay, guys, so you see this book that Alex has mentioned. If you guys want to check it out, Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. Good, good, yeah. good. All right, perfect. Okay, so now I want to know your opinion. This question I always enjoy because basically it's students telling me their opinion uh, right. about teachers. So in right. your opinion, um, what are three things that make a good English teacher, in your opinion? Mm-hmm. 
Well, I like the fact that you're not too focused on the grammar because mm-hmm. personally I love grammar and mm-hmm. uh, to me it seems to be like very logical. But again, um, it's very tricky when someone is speaking something, when someone is speaking in English and you're thinking, should I correct him or her or mm-hmm. should I let him go? Yeah. Just, you know, express the thoughts and stuff. So it's again, it's your question and I kind of question you. How like how does it feel what uh, let me think about it okay. so um how does why, it why feel do when someone when someone is making mistakes but uh you just let them go on because you know they are expressing themselves great question it, yeah i mean is it a good way to correct every single step because you know um one one girl told me that she lives in canada and she has been doing the same a grammar mistake or something for like ages and no one would correct her and she got so annoyed and so pissed off like no one would even would even tell me that I'm wrong this is what this is what one one uh, um, situation one, yeah like one situation and on the other hand if you if you are correcting someone for like over and over again they just feel like Okay, exactly. I, I don't want to go on because like everyone, every everything I'm saying is just wrong. So, I'll, wh- okay, so where, where's the balance? I'll tell you the balance, and I want to say something. So remember, toward the beginning of our conversation, you asked me about the word perfection. You were perfection. like, oh, "Is that okay?" And I said, yeah. "Oh, sure, keep going." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you kept saying it. You kept saying it, and then I responded and I used it in the correct way, and then you immediately copied what I said. Oh, that's so the instead way. of me saying. Alex, stop. We don't say it like that. I Uh listen and I said, okay, wait Uh a minute. He's saying it over and over again. Now, perfection is a word, but I knew the context you were trying to say it in. So I think as a teacher, instead of me correcting every single mistake, Mm -hmm. instead, it's more important for me to say, okay, wait a minute. Maybe he made multiple mistakes, but there's one mistake that he's making over and over and over. Right. Let me correct that because what has happened in his brain or in a student's brain, if they're making the same mistake over and over, it's become a habit. Right. So my job right. is to break the habit. Those That's other great. little small mistakes, over time, if they hear somebody say something, they'll kind of mm-hmm. fix it. So that's my methodology. I realize so first, first you get rid of the all the like main mistake, uh, like the the mistakes that you hear. Uh, well, how to say? It? I, I as a teacher. So again, as a teacher, and again, it's not something that can be taught. Every teacher mm-hmm. has different techniques. Right. My technique is. I've gotten, if I've gotten to know a student or again, like we're having a conversation, we've been talking for a little while. I can see kind of your level and I'm like, okay, I can see your comfortability. I can see when maybe you get a little nervous. Again, I don't think you're nervous at all, but I think for me, the main thing I do is try to figure out, okay, what's the student's weakness? Let me help with the main weakness and not make everything a weakness because I know how how difficult it is for students to speak in English. It's not an easy language. So uh, there's a word in English. I don't know if you've ever heard this word, nitpicking. You ever heard that word? Mm, nitpicking. I don't think I have. Let me show it to you. And I'll, I'll show it to you guys also that are watching this. So nitpicking means to look for all the small problems. Oh, I Every see. single small I problem. See. So we, it's called nitpicking. Looking for small or unimportant errors or faults. We say oh, nitpicking. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see the. Um, um, what's the, the example? Called? Well, yeah, like the examples, the uh, the synonyms. Yeah, and semantic. Yeah, it's pretty makes makes more sense. Yeah. So as a teacher, it's important to not for me to not nitpick. Oh, you didn't say this. You didn't say that. Right. I have another student who's also in the academy, and he'll probably watch this. Um, we're very close. We talk. He talked and. Mm-hmm. I recognize that his issue was he would always go between past and present tense. Oh, I see. So he'd be talking to you. Can you give me an example? Mm, Let's say, for example, I'm talking to you and I asked you a question about um, studying English last year. I say, Mm -hmm. hey, okay, Alex, so how did you study English last year? So I'm asking you a question Uh about the past. Uh Mm -hmm. But when you answer me, you say, well... I will study English with my mom yesterday. And you see, I see. I okay, a bit of confusion. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. it wasn't about the grammar as far as the word. The bigger issue was, ah, you're having a hard time going between past and present. Past and present. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's a longer answer to your question, but basically that's the way I teach. I look you for see, the- and, yeah, and this is my answer to you, like to be able to analyze such mm-hmm. mistakes and make methods out of them, you know, like mm-hmm. to be to be very accurate with every single student and kind of analyze the their their mistakes their issues and then to be able to bring it up and just improve it that's that's great that's one of the most abilities of the and one of the most goals i guess for every single teacher thank you yeah i really do enjoy i to, do like to make it to make it really individual for everyone yeah yeah that's true very good point very good point yeah to find right. the approach as well Good. I like that one. Okay. Um, tell me. Now, I know you said you've been studying English since you were 10 years old and that you also Something practiced like with your mom, mm-hmm. but you got more serious about it as you got older. How has your life changed after speaking English? Dramatically. Dramatically. Mm. Well, the first thing I want to mention is that um, watching movies and TV series in English, mm. it's, it has become such a pleasure, you know, because... Because of the voiceovers, even though sometimes they're great, uh, the great actors do them, but still, it it kind of kills the the main idea because you cannot separate a character from his voice. Yeah, it's just it doesn't work this way. Yeah, and uh, to be able to watch the TV series and movies in English, it's it's. It has changed my life dramatically. And also oh. when you listen to your favorite bands uh, and they sing in English and you can understand the lyrics, this is great because like back in the day, I, was, I would just listen to them and I would love the music, but I, I, I wouldn't have a clue like what they're singing about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's also, cool. also books, real conversations. Um, I work for, uh, for an American company uh, which does the video licensing. So, I mean, m- my life has changed dramatically, as I said, and I've been doing a lot to to get to this level. So it's kind of, it's not just a miracle. Yeah. But, uh, it is a miracle how we are as human beings um, capable of, you know, becoming better, learning so many things, having everything in our head, like a little yes. storage, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If if you put enough time, if you put a decent amount of time, and if you practice enough, and if you're consistent enough, it's just it's a miracle how talented we are, all of us. Yeah. How far we can go. It's great. That's true. Good. Very Very inspiring. Good. All right. What is your dream regarding English? Do you have a dream? Uh, Well, dream. Maybe not regarding English because I feel like I know I know what I have to do and uh, I see my next steps. But uh, maybe just you know, um, my dream for the future is not to stop doing what I do. You know, mm. not to stop, not to stop um, wanting something. You know, like uh, exploring and discovering new different uh, areas of your life where yeah. you can be better as you were before and you know to just grow 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 constantly yeah not to get stuck not to get stuck this is my dream good good all right our final question our final topic is literally what advice do you have for other people other learners because again like you watched other videos and other conversations that i had with students they're going to watch this video. What advice would you give them for students that may not be at the same level? What would you tell them? Well, this is what I, this is what I said like a few minutes ago. My advice would be, guys, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. You are doing a great job already because mm. not all the people of the world speak a few, a few languages, speak different languages. Mm. Most of the people, they just speak one English, one English, one <laughs> language. And um, yeah, I mean you are already getting yourself out of the comfort zone and Mm. this is great i mean it might be stressful it might be not comfortable but um once you start doing this you see it's not that scary anymore you know you just you just get this self-confident and just 
if you do it constantly, again, this is the this is the way. You just don't don't drop what you what you're doing. Mm. Um, you have to put some time into whatever you do. And uh, again, don't be afraid, don't be shy, because we are all human beings. We all make mistakes, and this is where, this is where, and this is how we learn from from it. So you are all, already doing a great job speaking a few languages. Again, not everyone does it. Good. And not, ev- not everyone wants to learn a, a foreign language. Mm. But since you guys want to learn something new, you're in the right place. So just go on. Good. Keep, keep moving on. Good. And everything is going to happen. Alex, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this conversation with likewise, you. Likewise, Tiffany, likewise. I really enjoyed it. Well, I'm going to definitely um, be posting this today. And I know that students are really going to enjoy this conversation. Thank you. Um, I look forward to seeing you more in the academy. And hopefully you can join us and be, uh, I only have a few spots for the VIP, but I would love to have you as one of the VIP members too. Um, we're going to sure. do a lot more live classes with the VIP members. So hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Yeah. Good, good. And uh, keep me posted as well about your band. You know, absolutely. Support your absolutely. Band too, so. Thank you, Tiffany, for showing me some interest. Yeah, You're I appreciate welcome. it a lot. You're Thank welcome. You. And if you ever have any questions, remember you can always email me or message me if you have any questions and anything you need absolutely. help with. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will. Be okay. sure I will. <laughs> okay. All right, Alex, have a good one. Have the rest. Have a good rest of the day and bye bye. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. You too. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to join me for a conversation, all you have to do is join my academy and become my student. The link is right here on the screen. Speak English with Tiffany Academy.com. Join today and you can join me for a conversation. I'll see you in the next episode. This episode of Conversations with Teacher Tiffany was sponsored by the Speak English with Tiffany Academy the number one online English academy for intermediate and advanced English learners.